Hi everybody, it's Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online and we're here today to talk about a large group game called Scooter Basketball. Now, Scooter Basketball is a modified version of basketball played with a beach ball and not using a regular basketball hoop. You need a lot of equipment for this one. This one is a little complicated to teach. This is almost a two-day lesson. So you can kind of maybe explain it to them uh, one day and then practice it and play it a little bit the one day and then maybe next time come back and play it longer. Uh, I do it only in one day, uh, but I do um, give them plenty of time to get a rotation in and a chance to be on the sideline and on the scooter. So what do you need for this activity? Well, you need lots of scooters. I'd say between 8 to 10 scooters, depending on the size of your class. You also need a beach ball. All right, that, Instead of a basketball, you use a beach ball. You will also use uh, two different colored spots, and you're going to probably need, I'd say, about uh, 10 of the orange and 10 of the blue, maybe 12, depending on the size of your class. And you are also going to need uh, some type of jersey to determine who's on what team. I've been using these scrunchies lately, a little easier to put on. I just have them put them on their arm like this, and that just, uh, determines what team they're on, much faster than the jerseys, because sometimes kids struggle putting on the jersey, taking up time. So that is the equipment that you need. Now, the setup. Again, it's a little complicated, and this could be a two-day lesson that you could use. Um, but the kids come into the gym, and this is already set up. So uh, what I do is I have my, my, my classes divided into uh, six groups. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that makes this game go a little faster as long as they know what group they're in. And I do have to sometimes move kids around to make sure the groups are even groups. All right? So when they come in, what you're looking at is... Um, You'll see these spots. These are the spots I talked about. Notice how I alternate the uh, orange and the blue um, spots on the, on the floor. And I also, these are the, the scooters. And sometimes you can have four in a scooter or five, depending on the size of your group. And these things right here, this is the target. All right. And I didn't talk about that as far as equipment, but uh, I'm going to show you a picture of this is what the target looks like that I use in class. Now, I know you may not have this. So you may have to modify and maybe use a, a large garbage can as your basket instead. Uh, but these are adjustable, very good. They happen to be here at the school that I was at uh, when I got here. And I, I use them for scooter basketball and other throwing target games. So these come in really handy. Um, now, so you notice how I have them set up. There's a target on one side, target on the other. And um, the scooters are here. And I usually put the beach ball right in the center. All right, for a jump ball. And to get the students set, I will say we're going to use our group numbers. And I'll say, okay, everybody in group number one, okay, and by the way, it's team one, two, and three, or group one, two, and three against four, five, and six. Group number one would be on the scooter. Group number six would be on the scooter, and I have them sit behind the scooters. And then the people in group number two and three would find an orange spot on either side. And you can see that I have the numbers three. Okay, and on the other side, group number six would go by the scooters, and um, group number four and five would find a blue spot on either side. So I make sure everybody knows where they're going. I say go, everybody goes to their spot. At that point, I go over the rules. Now the rules uh, when you're on the scooter are pretty simple. You can't move with the ball while you're on the scooter. It's called traveling, right? So, however, you are allowed to move without the ball. And what I have them do is I have them, I would talk about what a give and go is. You pass it to somebody on your team, okay? Once you pass it to them, you're allowed to move on that scooter. And what you're trying to do is they're moving on that scooter down, trying to shoot a basket into that hoop, all right? So six, their basket is over here. Or four, five, and six, they're shooting on the opposite side. And one, two, and three are trying to score on the opposite side of the gym and I make sure that they know and I have them point to what basket you're trying to shoot at. So they can move without the ball but once they have the ball they cannot move. They also get three seconds okay, to hold on to that ball. Nobody can knock it out of their hands but if they pass it okay, to somebody on their team on a scooter on the sidelines it is allowed to be intercepted or blocked. All right. The big thing here is the traveling. We just have to make sure that they remember they cannot move with the ball. They, uh, they are allowed to pivot, okay, but just not move with the ball forward or backwards or sideways. Now, the people on the sidelines, okay, they're in the game even though they're, in the, uh, they're on the sidelines. And what happens here is the person who is on the sideline must keep one foot on the spot at all times. 
all right? And they cannot move that spot. Sometimes the kids will slide the spot. I tell them they can't do that. Now, the people on the sidelines can pass to people on their team who are on a scooter, whereas the people who are on a scooter can also pass to people on the sidelines. If a person on a scooter scores a basket, they, they score one point. If they're on the sideline and they shoot and score, they score two points. So I let them know that there's a, the higher point value is on the sideline as well. Now, once a basket is scored, I pick the basketball uh, out of the hoop. I have all the students pick up their scooters, go back to the reset line or the starting line. I put the ball back in the center. I blow the whistle. They go again. We play for about a minute and 45 seconds. All right? At that point, there's a timer that goes off, and then I switch out the groups, and I would then put group number one on the sideline, and two would come to the scooters. Group number six would go to the sidelines, and number five would come to the scooters, and three and four would wait for the next minute and 45 seconds. This is a lot going on here, so again, this is probably a two-day lesson, uh, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, kids get a good workout, especially when they're on the scooters. I tell them that they're going to feel it in their legs, and I have them make sure they sit on their butt on the scooter when they do this. I do not have them sit on their knees. Uh, it, is, it works much better if they sit on their butt. All right. There's a lot of rules to this, and what I'd like to do is to show you what it looks like uh, in action. So before you leave, uh, check out uh, this uh, scooter basketball in action. A lot to it, but it's a lot of fun. Make sure you watch that video. Thanks for watching. Set. Remember, pass the ball to your people on your sideline, too. There you go.